This video will cover the coronary circulation and the conduction system. So, if we move this, what we see is the aorta. And coming off the aorta here, we have the right coronary artery. We are going to follow that right coronary artery, one, two, to the fourth artery here, and it actually will have a number on it. I believe the number is 63. Keep in mind, different heart models might have different numbers on these. The artery coming off of this right coronary artery is the marginal artery. Comes out to here. It is the second one of these two that are right here. The vein that we see starting here is the small cardiac vein and it comes over here and works its way down and around. Now the right coronary artery is continuing around back. And as we move to the posterior side, we have this major artery, major vein here. This major artery coming down is the posterior descending artery and this vein is the middle cardiac vein. Now, blood from the veins, you have the small cardiac vein here, the middle cardiac vein, they come together and join, and as they do, they are entering the coronary sinus right through here. So arteries, blood is going out, veins are bringing blood back to this coronary sinus. Now if we turn to the other side, this is the left coronary artery here coming in, and we see that it splits right here and here, or bifurcates. Now when we close this door, this is the circumflex artery going around towards the back side. Circum meaning around, so circumflex, it flexes around. The artery coming down here is the LAD, left anterior descending artery. The vein that you see forming here, this is the great cardiac vein, and it flows around with the circumflex artery towards the coronary sinus. Now one other vein that we should pay attention to is on the posterior side of the heart, and notice it's pretty close to that hinge right there. This is the posterior vein of the left ventricle and that will flow into the great cardiac vein. Since I didn't mention it before, I do want to point out just a few structures right here. Around the posterior side of the aorta, you have the trachea and the esophagus. The trachea is a got these hyaline cartilage ridges on it, and they're in a C shape, so they're present here. The esophagus is this smaller bit here, and when you swallow food, it can extend or expand into this tracheal region if the item swallowed is too large. So it gives us an idea of what's happening and that the heart is very close in relationship to the lungs. We begin to see branches coming off the trachea here. All right, that was the coronary circulation. Now, the other part we want to look at is the conduction system. This is the system dealing with electrical impulses in the heart. This white circle area here with the black line around it is the SA node or sinoatrial node. We have another one of these nodes right here, so the white with the black line around it. And that is the AV or atrioventricular node. The SA node will start an impulse and this impulse will go to the atrial sanctum, both the left and right atria. That system will then collect the impulse and pass it to this AV node. Now, there is a skeleton of the heart, and the skeleton of the heart has a lot of connective tissue which will not pass the signal on. So the AV node has a little connection piece into the interventricular septum that we see over here. And that will pass the signal on to these white branches that we see here. If it is on the interventricular septum, it is the AV bundle branches. There's a right and a left bundle branch. 
And further down, what we'll see is we get branches off of that, and we see branches here after you've hit the apex of the heart. These branches off are going to Purkinje fibers, and these fibers are in mounds of cardiac muscle tissue, and you can see these reddish mounds. They'll be much clearer in person. These mounds are called papillary muscle. When the papillary muscle contracts, it shortens. And in so doing, it pulls on the valves. So this little red bit here, or right here, is part of the valve structure. And when the papillary muscle contracts, it pulls on that, which then pulls on these flaps up here. So these tendon-like structures that get pulled, closing the flap for the AV valves of the heart, the tricuspid, mitral bicuspid, um, these are called chordate tendinae. And it's the actual flap-like structure that we see up here. Thank you for your time. Hope this helps.